Hello and welcome back again my friends with Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas with you again. We came back in another video. So as you see here, the Bitcoin was it done here in that level. It came down and today it's going up. And that's what me have been telling you before. If you remember people they being with me, I told you also we are here in a very stronger level. That's what me has said. And let's zoom it a little bit. I explain to you some things I said it in the last video. If you remember what me I told you about that three candles here, that one, that one. You found it in the last video where I analyzed for you the Bitcoin. What me I told you about those ones, I told you maybe that one is going to fall down tail here. But today it show us the Bitcoin is staying stronger here. After we be in going down here it came today as you see it, it closed green so what that indicating it indicating the bitcoin it will not fall down yet and also here what me i told you before here i told you we got here a inside bar from the peak of the green candle to the lower of it there is no candle yet breaking here in the top if you focus it with me there is no candle just the tails here yes or no so tell now us we stay in sideways here it's need a candle to come to close above that level here if there is no candle closing here there is no entry long there is no candle closing here there is no entry Sure. remember those things me i'm telling you very 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 well like how we used to have one here and here tell that candle here came and closing above that level that where it used to be the inter long you see it or no the candle we are talking about is that one here of ftx the people they've been with us for some time they remember it so now what should we do here in the daily should we enter long should we stay short not yet it's still very early for us to enter long now people they being entering with us from down here tell now they're making nice profit now here so just moving the stop loss up and waiting more and here what else we said before what me i told you before here about that level here because i need to repeat it every time because i know some people they just came now what me i said about that two levels here i told you that break will happen here as a very well known wake off Button. yes or no and i told you for us to know that one here the bottom it's need that one to come to break here and to make like that and after that to break more higher so it's still very early for us to thinking of to enter long position also we stay in here sideways and we could when there is no power to break here that supply and demand zone here look at it how it is you came here and you draw in here a line like that in that level what you see last time from here it falling down the f takes now you are in it we don't know how long is going to stay sideways here but the falling down is going to come maybe or maybe it's going to break and to go more higher because depending the investors to enter long what should we do remember with me we got here the upper of that wage we show you in the weekly as you see it down here and here till now we haven't break in the top of it and what else we said last friday about the options we put it like that we put that two levels last friday we put those two levels here one up and one down here till now the bitcoin it doesn't break in up and it doesn't break in down and if it's break tomorrow here 100 percent you're going to see the bitcoin going here till 27k why because a lot of calls they are here and a lot of people they will be liquidated from here and it's going to enter a lot of liquidity like how it happened here people they've been with us for some time they remember that everything is still clear now it's going to see the coming news for tomorrow so it's going there coming news for tomorrow as you see it we don't have something special here as you see then we just got here at three o'clock gmt time we got exiting home sales the previous one it used to be for 0.09 million the forecast here it's showing is going to drop oh that's something bad that we may have told you the homes or uh, home sectors in usa it's a big problem for the Fed. The Fed, they tried to lower it, but they, know they don't find any solution for it. They find a solution for unemployment. They find a solution for inflation. But the home sales, it's still a big problem. And now the stock market, it's falling down. And even manufacturing, they're falling down. And everything is falling. We don't know where the USA is going. But the only thing I can tell you, but don't worry. Soon we will recover because me, I always trust in America. And here, our table, that one here, us we follow every day. What it telling us today? Just focus it with me about the table here. What you see? All your stocks here today they are red. That what me I told you in the last video before in that one where we talking about SP 500, the Nasdaq, and the DXY. That's what us we said. We said all of them they are going to fall down, and that's what they show it. They tried to recover before the close, but there is no power to push up. So they close the daily 
red as you see them and something else here the vex what it telling us here the vex it's go back above 20 in the last video it used to be 21 because a lot of fair from recession in america now it fell down a little bit but it closed green is it 20.52 that's something very bad the us dollar in the last video i told you maybe it's going to recover but doesn't as you see it closed red that's man british pound and the euro us did they are going to still going up i think everything is too clear here now it's going to see the bitcoin what it's doing today in four hours so it's going there here we are in the four hours here in the four hours people they've been with me just that week watch me i told you here i told you me i drawing here and here two levels and i'm waiting the bitcoin where it's going to break either to break up or either to break down it doesn't break up and it doesn't break in down now look now if you came to the tail of the candle here and that one here and you connecting them like that and in the top you came like that what you see you got a very clear flag now here in four hours look at it very clear flag let me make it more clear to you like that and like that you see it or no you got a very clear flag here in four hours it came down here he couldn't break now it's going back upward now what should us we do now here we need to wait and either the break to happen down here or we'll close the long position and we will open a short position if it came and closing above that level here or we'll leave our long position because us already we got a long position why should we close in our long position as we enter from down and we are in profit there is no need and something here look with me if you look in here you got here a supply and demand zone here yes or no it came to hit the market here now in a normal market it's need that one to go till here till the top of those ones here but it doesn't what it's showing here it's showing here that candle here it's showing is going to reverse if it give us here right a red candle it's going to reverse that's something you need to be aware of why because if you look in here it give you here a low in that place low it came up here it give you a high if it fall down and break in lower here it's going to change the trend it's going to give you a lower low and it's going to give you here look with me here a head and shoulder all those things you need to be focused about it and also we came to you every day to analyze for you like that everything is too clear here so now what should we do same thing me i haven't changed nothing i came down here the tail of that candle here that one here and in the top of the tail of that candle here i'm making here a level like that and down a level like that and i'm waiting a candle to close either a candle to came to close above that level that's meant also we're still going up and i'm going to move the stop loss that one to enter from down people they've been with us now at least one month we enter from down i will move it here if it came here and break it lower here i'm going to close all the long position and i'm a going to enter a short position and i'm going to put the stop loose here everything is very simple now let's go into see our indicator what it's saying our indicator as you see it after it go out from overboard now it's going to touch here that trend line us we draw in here that one here we draw it here it's going to touch it now yes now us we are in a very stronger level here look at it here you focus it with me here look here look when it's break it here look here and look now where we are that way you see that rejection happening now either from here is going to fall down that's meaning we are going to be lower low like that till we're going to touch here the trend line then we're going to see if we are going to reverse or no because me i told the people they haven't entered with us from down in that trend line here is going to be the right time for you to enter again so make sure to watch all our videos when also you put in a new video watch it when is it the right time to buy we're going to give it to you here by the way if you want to see how us we enter from 17k till 21k Okay, there is one short video here it show you everything let's go now to see our other indicator what it's saying that one here it enter here to the overbought area that's the first thing second thing what is it we need to be in a very stronger supply and demand zone and yes we are in one third thing and that one the most important thing what is it we need a price action here indicating for us also we need to enter short did we got any price action there yes you got there that channel i show you if the market came and breaking down enter short Take profit of you it need to be here at that last peak here remember it that one here because that level here is very stronger level last time from here it's fall down and last time from here it's fall down if it came to it maybe from here we are going to go reversing upward because the market it doesn't work in just going up the market is always making like that then after that making like that then after that it's going to make another wave market is working with waves guys everything is too clear now it's going to see what the bitcoin doing right now in 30 minutes so it's going there here we are in 30 minutes here in 30 minutes the last video watch me i told you here i told you it give you here like a double bottom like that 
Yes or no? When it's breaking here, will W enter long? Long tail where? And the shorts, I told you here, we used to have here, like triangle here. People have been with us for some time, they see that. When it's breaking here, will W enter? Short tail down here. Now, what should you do now? Now, at this time here, what should we do? Look with me here. What you got here? You see it or not? You got a triangle there. That one, you know exactly how to trade by those price action patterns. There is our crypto day trading course. We explain all those patterns in it. You can join it and learn all those things. What also should we do now? We wait in the break either to happen up here or to happen down here for us to enter short or long we're going to confirm for us where should we go our indicator let's see it our indicator is this here at the overbought area yes or no price action we have that price action i'll show you just now if that one came and break it lower here is going to fall down more guys remember that should we enter short now no unless if it came and breaking down here and when you enter short you enter and you put stop loss that's how you trade without stop loss don't enter everything is too clear huh? that's it for that video see you in another video bye for now guys